How are we doing, meteorologist Steve Pandera here in the Weather Center on day three of Severe Weather Awareness Week. We're highlighting severe thunderstorms, one of the more frequent severe weather situations. Just because thunderstorms have a little bit of versatility to them, um, when a thunderstorm reaches the severe threshold, it could be due to wind, it could be due to hail, or it could be due to lightning. It could be a combination of those three, all of them, just one, just two. When it comes to the wind, that damaging threshold is anything over pretty much 58 miles an hour. Everything up to 60 miles an hour or greater is damaging wind. It's hail, that's hail that could produce damage, or lightning. And of course, lightning is over 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit, so of course that can ruin your day as well. So when it comes to severe thunderstorm, it's as easy as just getting inside, seeking shelter, not being caught outside, and just getting away from the windows. Um, whether it's the damaging wind, whether it's the hail, whether it's the lightning. I don't know if you recall, on March 1st, uh, we had dealt with uh, a line of severe thunderstorms just a couple weeks ago that blew through the Hampton Roads area. There was no lightning really with those, there was no hail with those, but there was damaging wind. So we had one of the criteria met. So very versatile situations. This should come in handy for Thursday's weather because we may be dealing with some stronger thunderstorms. So just have a way to get those weather alerts, right? Have the app. Be sure to tune in to the forecasts online, wavy.com. We have the blogs each and every morning that go out. And just be weather aware in times of severe weather.